a memory of the smell of smoke and a presumption that once our eyes water.
I can come and go as I please. You're evidently a man who knows his way around. I've been here before. We're still finding our feet. I should concentrate on not losing your head. You speak from knowledge and precedent. You've been here before. And I know which way the wind is blowing. Operating on two levels, are we? How clever. I suppose it comes naturally to you, being in the business, so to speak. The truth is, we value your company for want of any other. We've been left so much to our own devices that after a while, one welcomes the uncertainty of being left to other people. Mm. Uncertainty is the normal state. You're nobody special. But for God's sakes, what are we supposed to do? Relax. Respond. That's what people do. You can't go through life questioning your situation at every turn. But we don't know what's going on, or even what to do with ourselves. We don't know how to act. Act naturally. You know why you're here, at least. We only know what we're told, and that's little enough. And for all we know, it isn't even true. For all anyone knows, nothing is. Everything has to be taken on trust. True is only that which is taken to be true. It's the currency of living. There may be nothing behind it, but it doesn't make any difference so long as it is honored. One acts on assumptions. What do you assume? Hamlet is done himself, outsider in. We have to glean what afflicts him. He doesn't give much away. He does now. He is melancholy. Melancholy? Mad. How is he mad? Ah, how is he mad? More morose than mad, perhaps. Melancholy. Moody. He has moods. Of moroseness? Mad. And yet, what? For instance, he talks to himself, which might be mad. If he didn't talk sense, which he does, which suggests the opposite. Of what? I think I've got it. A man talking sense to himself is no matter than a man talking nonsense not to himself. Or just as mad. <laughs> he does both. There you are. Start raving, say. <laughs> why? Exactly. Ah. Exactly what? Exactly what? Exactly why what? What? Why? Why what exactly? Why is he mad? I don't know. The old man thinks he's in love with his daughter. Good God, we're out of our depth here. No, <laughs> no, no. He hasn't got a daughter. The old man thinks he's in love with his daughter. The old man is Hamlet in love with the old man's daughter. The old man thinks. Ah, it's beginning <laughs> to make sense. Unrequited passion. <laughs> Nobody leaves this room <laughs> without very good reason. <laughs> <laughs> I have lines to learn. Pass! Yes! <laughs> is actually dead, lying in a box with a lid on it? <laughs> <laughs> Nor do I, really. It's silly to be depressed by it. I mean, one thinks of it like being alive in a box. One keeps forgetting to take into account the fact that one is dead, which should make all the difference, shouldn't it? I mean, you would never know you were in a box. It would be just like being asleep in a box. Not that I'd like to sleep in a box, mind you. Not without any air. You'd wake 